Hi, my name's Don Creekmore, owner of The Nation's Attic, and I'm standing here beside Jake, uh, which is our display in our offices of the famous United States Navy Mark V diver. As you can see, of course, we've got the famous helmet here up on top, an original canvas suit, weight belt. We've got boots down here that you can't see. But one of the pieces of equipment that a lot of people don't think about, maybe when they're setting up a display or want to put something next to their helmet, is the diving knife. And of course, right here on this display, we've got one of those knives and they're quite unique uh, in their construction and style. Now we turn up a lot more Mark V helmets or even just antique diving helmets in general far more than we ever do the diving knives themselves. They're just hard to come by. But we are offering a special one for sale that we just found with some other diving equipment. And uh, let me get a little bit closer here and I'll show you what we've got. But this is a Mark V style diving knife. We've got a solid brass scabbard right here. Got the original uh, leather strap still attached to it. We've got a turned wood handle right here. Now when we pulled this out and, uh, and unthreaded it uh, like this, we were initially just a little bit disappointed by the blade as it's kind of brown and, and gooey looking to a degree. But what this is is the original Cosmoline that the military applied to the blade to keep it from rusting. Now you'll find World War II era weapons, uh, firearms, things like that, that'll have this Cosmoline on it. And that was to simply keep it from rusting. They would put this in inventory and when it was needed, you clean the Cosmoline off and put it to use. Now this particular knife was probably, uh, had this applied to it and then sometime after the war was sold as surplus. And then a diver probably never used this. So we've still got that original brown Cosmoline on the blade here. Now what's actually really interesting and unique and valuable about this knife, other than its new old stock condition, is the fact that it was made by Union Cutlery. Union Cutlery made the K-Bar fighting knife for the U.S. Marines, but they also made diving knives for a short period of time during World War II, and they were marked with K-Bar on there as well. And it may be hard to see um, on the camera here, Union Cutlery on the other side. But these K-Bar diving knives just don't turn up at all. Quite rare, quite collectible, very good investment piece. So we have this for sale. Great piece to set next to your uh, Mark V display. Or if you've got, uh, got the full display like this and need a knife, this would be a perfect one. New old stock condition has a wonderful patina to it as well. If you have any questions, want any closer pictures of this, please feel free to give us a call. Our country code is 1 area code 316-371-1828. Our email address is helmets at nationsattic.com and our website of course is oldhelmet.com. Nations Attic has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and we're also sponsoring members of the Historical Diving Society of the United States as well. Once again my name is Don and I certainly look forward to hearing from you. Thanks!